So what is a curb mount skylight? So we'll start with in new construction, when someone adds a skylight, they cut a hole in the roof, which is what we call the rough opening or the inside wood curb dimension, which is from the inside of the wood to the inside of the wood, which should match the hole in the ceiling. There's then an outside curb dimension, which is typically three inches wider than the rough opening. Your two by fours or two by sixes, which are typically used to construct the curb, are an inch and a half thick on each side when they're standing upright. On the inside of the home, to aesthetically make it pleasing, they typically put drywall or sheetrock along the inside so they can then paint that, what they call the skylight shaft, the area where the light shines in through the skylight and comes down through the, the shaft portion in the ceiling down to the inside of the home, bringing in light. On the outside, the installer typically uses an underlayment material and then they use a flashing material that goes under your roofing materials and up alongside the, the wood curb. That's to keep water from getting into where they, they cut this hole and build this box on your roof. So ultimately there's a flashed in curb. All of that's done by the installer. The curb mount skylight is just designed to cap over the existing wood curb that's flashed in and typically every skylight manufacturer makes their curb mount sizes slightly different but in general they want to have about a quarter inch to a half inch gap of space wider than where the flashed in curb is.